Hey, what's up, man? This is Frankie. Let me say I'm not a financial advisor. Anything that I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Whatever I say in this video is my opinion. It may not necessarily be factual. Don't let what I say in this video be the determining factor as to whether you should buy, sell, or hold a stock. I'm just an entertain on YouTube. Look, I'm going to shoot this video real quick, man, before I get ready to go to work. I want to send a shout uh, a special shout out, man, to um, DJ Underground. You know, that brother may have been supporting my channel for a long time. And plus, man, he got his own channel. So I appreciate that. And I just want to say, Asalaamu Alaikum to um, AB Investment. Man, I'm glad you came back and you started putting that content out there again. But check this out, man. I feel like this is just my personal opinion. I feel like Adam Aaron is a narcissistic and I think that he's a ungrateful CEO. I just think, man, he's just good with tricking and hoodwinking people. And see, I don't think that he's the CEO for the type of shareholders that we get in this particular stock. I just say that. And see, in life, man, we have this thing called, this concept called quit pro quo, meaning that if you scratch my back, I scratch your back. But see, the only thing, in my opinion, that's taking place between the retail investors in our stock and Adam Aaron is that his back is getting scratched. And that's it. And see, for me, that's a problem, man, because if it wasn't for the apes and the five to 10 million retail investors in AMC stock, the company, man, will be gone. But see, like I said in the other video, Adam Aaron, man, has his goals and the apes and the AMC retail investors, they got their goals as far as this stock is concerned. His goal, man, is to be profitable and raise money. Nothing wrong with that. We got to do that. Our goal the majority of us, man, is that we in this for a short squeeze play, particularly a Moaz. You see what I'm saying? But, and you have to learn how to compromise and we have to work together. But it seemed like what's going on in this stock is that every decision that Adam Aaron is making is all about raising capital and diluting the stock. None of it, man, has anything to do with us being successful in our short squeeze play or helping apes with our objective. You see what I'm saying? And see, now he want to do a reverse stock split that's going to take 90% of retail investors and apes shares away from them. You see what I'm saying? And he want to get a fake run up and raise capital. You know, and that's going to be short term. He's just thinking about himself. Then he finna put the company in a situation where it looked stressful just to do a fake run up. And he want to take all our shares away. And then, like I said, all they're going to do, man, is just short the stock right back down again because he never did anything bad. He never did anything to stop. The criminal activity from going on with the stock. He never, he never tried to stop that. And I feel like, man, he finna put retail investors and the, and the stock in a bad situation. You see what I'm saying? And man, and when you look at the apes and when you look at, um, the retail investors and when you look at what we're trying to accomplish and when you think about who the enemies is in this short squeeze play, and when I think about, man, what AMC I think really need as a company, I just don't feel like Adam Aaron is the CEO to take AMC to the next level. I feel like, man, he's compromised. I'm just watching the way he moves and the things that he's doing as far as what's going on, going on with the stock. I think that he's compromised. You see what I'm saying, man? And I've always felt that Adam Aaron wasn't doing anything to help retail investors and to help the apes with our goals and our short squeeze play. But I didn't say anything, man, because I was trying to keep peace in the community and I was trying to not bring division. 
But when he said he was even considering taking 90% man of our shares in a stock like AMC where we got a whole lot of problems and knowing that we're in a short squeeze play, see, that's the thing, man, that made me say, I'm done with Adam Aaron as the CEO. And yeah, I heard people say, man, you should want your CEO to be successful and you should and you should support your CEO. But here's my thing, man. I don't have to support him. We, I mean, we don't have to have him as a CEO. He's not the only CEO, man, only person that can step in and be a CEO, man, for AMC. You see what I'm saying, man? Because for me, the way I feel, man, if you're not willing to do something to fight the criminal activity as far as the stock is concerned, and you're talking about taking 90% of our shares away, to me, man, I'd rather, man, look to somebody else for leadership. You see what I'm saying? I mean, I can't, I can't, you know, I can't be down and support nobody that's talking about, man, getting rid of 90% of our shares. And they're not trying to do nothing about all the synthetics that's going on in AMC. And see, I say this much, man, as far as this short squeeze play. Even if Adam Aaron, he helps the one percenters in this short squeeze play. Let's say that take place and he get rid of 90 percent of our shares and the reverse stock split go through. Here's my thing is it's still a short squeeze play. He can't help them get rid of all their shares. It's still a short squeeze play. It's still a lot of money to be made in this short squeeze play. You see what I'm saying? And we've been in this short squeeze play, man, for almost two years. We put a lot of work in it. So what I'm saying is, and my, it's just my opinion, do what you want to do, man. I ain't no financial advisor, do you? I feel like if a person has stayed in this play for almost two years, you might as well get a reward, man, for all your pain. Get a reward. Because they might get rid of some of their synthetic shares, but it's billions of synthetic shares, man, out there. He can't really stop people from still making a lot of money, you know, in this short squeeze play. And I hope this ain't the case. We might not have a Moaz if he kill it, but man, it's still a short squeeze play worth a whole lot of money. You know, that's the way I feel. And man, and, and I'm going to say this. I'm going to close with this. I don't care who the YouTubers are or people on Twitter. I don't care how many followers they get. And like I said, I don't care how many pop, I don't have, how popular they are. If they are here advocating that retail investors should lose 90% of their shares, I'm not listening to shit they got to say anymore. I don't want to have nothing to do with them. I can care less who they are. If they are here advocating, man, saying that they think, man, trying to justify it and trying to use some reason why they feel that people should lose 90% of their shares, and they saying that that's good, man, for a short squeeze play. I don't want to fuck with them no more. I'm just being 100 with you. I'm just being 100 with you. Now, the thing is, if they talking about something else, cool. But if, if they if they saying shit like that when it comes to the short squeeze play, I don't want to listen to them. But like I said, man, look, you've been in it this long. For me, I'm going to get as much money, man, as I, as I can get out of this short squeeze play. Thank you for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.